So here, we'll look at the Grain de Folly card for the ZDSP. It translates from French into Seeds of Madness, and this is granular synthesis using small slices of sound, known as grains, to compose new sounds from the existing material. By combining multiple grains of different lengths, amplitude and pitch and speed, we can create new sounds often very different from the input. And we've got eight different algorithms like we have in the other cards, and I'd suggest going back and watching the very first video on the ZDSP where we actually go over the module if this is the first one that you've landed on. For some simple recognisable audio, I've got someone counting to 10. Granted it's in Japanese, so not going to be uh, recognisable to everyone. But you can hear this is a simple voice looping round. Going fully wet. We can introduce some stereo spread. Play about the grain size. We can also use the analog feedback path. Which is creating delay like textures. Now, freeze works by all the way left, letting the input audio pass through. And then in the first 25%, no audio is input to the buffer delay line. Beyond this, the audio is put back into the buffer from the grains. So we can actually sort of freeze this input sound. Notice if I go left. This is processing live input. This locks the delay line. Further left. Audio is fed back in. Here's a second algorithm. And these rhythmic frozen buffer type sounds work great for rhythmic things like drums or percussive synth sequences. We've got pitch modulation on this third algorithm. A second pitch modulated one. Much cleaner pitch shifting. This is free pitch shifted grains. I can pitch down. Pitch 
stand up. With that pitch down. Let's actually down sample the internal clock rate. And lower. Here's six different grains with stereo spread. So again, we've frozen that with no input being fed back into the buffer. And we've got independent grain sizes. You can feed that back on itself. And even more so with the analog feedback. Here's three flying grains, and the flying refers to the panning that's created in the stereo spread. You can adjust that pan mod and the grain size. And then the final patch is three independent and modulated grains with their own modulation of their size. This is great for textural work. We still freeze that, but then still modulate the size of that frozen buffer. So, is this creating a lot of random and interesting textures? Let's throw a load of random CV at it. So it takes the random really well, but it can be a lot more musical. You can play synths into it, live instruments, acoustic instruments, or drums as well. So just as a final example, here's some guitar into the six grain stereo algorithm on the grain de folly. Turn up the feedback, we can get these nice granular sort of delays. What works really well is if you grab an expression pedal or any sort of foot switch or manual way to send a voltage is to use the freeze with expression pedal or anything else to actually hold these grains and then play over the top with a 50-50 mix. So let's just freeze a simple chord in. And no input's going to be fed back into that buffer, back and play over the top. Unfortunately, I don't have an expression pedal, but I'd be using that to control this freeze if I did. 
Let's freeze on a different card. So that's just another way to potentially use the Grinder Folly card. 